I mean, my shebang could just be over here living our best life. Hey guys, welcome back. It's Ro. I'm so excited for today's video. I finally found shebang chips that are like supposedly the best chips in the whole entire world. They're sold inside of prison. A lot of people have said that they go searching for these. They're so good. I have a story time about chips in the vending machines inside of Visit. And then also we're gonna try these. I got, was able to get the original and I was able to get the, what are these? Extreme. So they have spice, which you guys already know from my video where I took the spicy chocolate challenge. I'll put it up there, the chocolate challenge 2020. Then you already know that I love, love, love spicy food. So if you're interested in this taste test of the shebangs, you guys wanted me to do this on video for the first time and also a visit story time because you love my story times, please keep watching. If you're new here, my name is Ro. I support family members of the incarcerated. I got this idea literally while I was in the middle of filming my last video about how much all of the food on a prison commissary list cost. And on there were the whole shebang chips. And as I was talking through the video, I said, I always hear about these chips. I wanna try them. When I posted that video, you guys sent me links and ideas of where I could find them. I found a box on eBay. <laughs> but I'm not just talking like a bag of chips. Look at this. I found a box on eBay. Okay, you ready for this? I did not know all those little things were in there. That was the worst fail. So I really honestly don't know what I'm gonna do with this many bags of chips. I might love them and wanna hoard them and save them all for myself, but your girl needs to go back on an eating plan. Plane? An eating plan? What the hell's an eating plane? Not my day. Your girl needs to go back on an eating plan, so some of you might get some shebang in email. I don't know, we'll see. But before I do the taste test, I'm gonna taste each one, the regular and the, the spicy, the extreme. But let's start with the story time, because it's fun. Where I go to visit, you get processed through downstairs in the front, totally separate building from where the visit room is. So you go through all of that, and then you're brought back. You have to actually walk outside for like 50 yards. You're brought to the back building, and then your loved one is called out. Usually it takes like sometimes 15, 20 minutes between you getting into the visit room and your loved one coming out to see you. And there are vending machines there for you to get drinks and snacks and all this stuff. So at the time this story takes place, there were a few different vending machines. There are two different soda machines. One had water and like sparkling water and then the rest was sodas, maybe like an iced tea. Every once in a while there would be juice. The other one had only soda. And then there was an actual juice machine at this point where they had little cans of apple juice, orange juice, grapefruit juice. I think they even had V8 tomato juice in there. All of it was V8, but the, the original V8 tomato juice. They had two vending machines, refrigerator type of vending machines where the food needed to be heated up. So there'd be sandwiches and burgers, sometimes wings, pizzas, even sometimes they had pasta salad in there. Sometimes they even had salads in there. And so it was like food vending machines. And then the last vending machine in there was snack type of food. So they always had things like granola bars, pop tarts, Snickers, candy bars. Sometimes they would have nuts and other snacky type of stuff. I think that it had string cheese in there at one point, little Slim Jim types of things. However, they never had bags of chips in there. In the time between when you would get into that room and your loved one would come out, everybody, as soon as they walked in, it would be a mad rush to the vending machines. And that's because it was first come first serve. Visit was always Saturday, Sunday. And even there sometimes at that point, it was on Mondays, nine times out of 10, nobody was coming back to fill up the vending machines on Sunday. Sometimes they didn't even come back to fill it up. So it was just what was left over from the week before. So it was slim pickings of the food. And even if it was full both days, it was slim pickings of what you got. When it ran out, it ran out. It's not like somebody was gonna come back in during visit to refill the vending machines because they ran out. It just doesn't happen. In the beginning, when I first started going, I didn't really care to deal with the crowd of that rush because sometimes there would be like fights, literally that broke out of the vending machines. Or sometimes you would go up, I did this, I'm guilty of this, but my friend would hand me money and be like, listen, check that machine for strawberry pie. Her boyfriend, oh no, for Reese's. Her boyfriend loved Reese's pie. And in one of the machines with the sandwiches and the burgers and the warm up food, sometimes they would also have Reese's pie and strawberry pie. So she's like, here's $2, get me the pie. People would kind of hoard the vending machine. So if my friend and I went together, we'd each be at different machines like, hey, is this in there? Is that in there? Get me this, get me that. And people in line behind you would kind of get pissed. Rightfully, I get it. I also remember this one day where I had walked in, it was a winter time, and I was wearing this really pretty button down shirt 
with a fur vest over it. And this is the point where I had just started gaining a little bit of weight back from when I was really unhealthy and lost a whole bunch of weight. It was very, very underweight. I actually looked like I was probably a drug addict. It was awful. I was living on coffee, cigarettes, one apple, and a tablespoon of peanut butter every single day. I was in a really bad place, depressed in my life. I was just getting back to healthy. I had just started eating again. And I remember that shirt was beautiful, but it was like an extra small. And at this point I was probably getting back into a small and the buttons on the shirt were just starting to gape a little bit open, but I could get away with it with this vest. And it was a really cute outfit, except when I took off the vest, I was really self-conscious of the shirt starting to get tight on me, but the vest was fine. So I didn't know I couldn't wear a fur vest into visit. So when I walked in, I was processed in and the woman told me where to sit. And she said to me, you're not allowed to wear that. I was like, I'm not allowed to wear what? Sheer terror went down my face because I didn't want to take off my vest. I was self-conscious. And she's like, you're gonna have to hang up that vest. I was like, Meh. okay. And I must've looked really sad. And I hung up my vest, I complied. I didn't give her a hard time, nothing like that. I just hung up my vest and I went to go sit back down. Another time I gave a cop the hard time and he let me win. I was wearing a, a cape and it had no arms. It basically was a blanket. And I was like, please, I'm freezing in here. Can I keep it on? And he was like, just this once. And I was like, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. So this time she made me take it off and that was fine. So the whole mad dash is at the vending machines and I'm just sitting in my chair waiting for it to die down because honestly, Adam doesn't care what I feed him and he's not into like the type of food that they're fighting for. Usually it's the wings people are fighting for and the cakes and he doesn't eat that kind of stuff. It was one of the first times I saw her but I had been coming here for at least a year. So I go to sit down at my seat and she comes up behind me and she says, hey, were you gonna get food? And I said, yeah, I think it was kind of her extending an olive branch to me because she felt bad that she made me hang up my vest. And she was a really, really nice woman. To this day, I think she's one of my favorites. I said, yeah. And she said, well, you might want to get it now because normally they run out of food really fast. I knew what she was doing. And I said, oh, thank you so much. I was like, I don't like to deal with that crowd. I kind of let it die down before I get some stuff. And she goes, oh girl, I feel you. And that was it. And I understand what was happening there, but that's how it is there. Everybody rushes to the vending machines. Everybody gets their food as fast as possible. And it runs out really quick. This one day, a few years later, same thing, come to the front, I get processed, we get walked to the back, you walk in, give your name to the cop, we have a stamp, show them your stamp under the black light and they tell you where to sit and everybody mad dashes to the vending machines and all of a sudden, all the girls are like cheering, jumping up and down, Woo! and I'm like, what is going on, what's wrong? And they're like, chips, chips. Well, apparently they had filled the whole top row of the snack vending machine with bags of chips and everybody was going nuts because there was finally chips at visit. It's the little things, I guess, right? I don't think that there were shebangs, but there were like Doritos and Ruffles and maybe Pringles in a bag. I don't know, but they had chips. The rule was, this is very interesting. The rule was that you had to take your chips out of the bag in order to eat them. So they had paper plates or like they had like styrofoam plates piled on top of a microfi microphone, no. They had styrofoam plates on top of a microphone. Why do I keep saying microphone? They had styrofoam plates piled on top of a microwave right next to that vending machine. So you had to get your chips. You had to get a plate. You had to take them both up to the desk where the cops sit. You had to open your bag of chips while they were watching, dump them on the plate. You had to, I should show you guys this, but I mean, how hard is it to understand? You had to then throw away the outside bag and you had to go back to your seat and eat them off the plate that way. And you weren't allowed to share them with your loved one. Only one person could eat off of a plate. Do you guys wanna know why? I know if you have a loved one inside, you already know why, but I'll tell you guys that are learning, new to this or just learning why. That's because this bag isn't clear. So what somebody could do is they could drop something like mm, contraband, some drugs, some tobacco, cigarettes, whatever they wanna drop into that bag. Say, do you want a chip? And then your loved one sticks their hand in that bag eats whatever that contraband is, usually it's a baggie of drugs, swallows it and takes it into the back. That's how exchanges happen. So they were trying to avoid that. That's why you're not allowed to share food, at least where I go. That's why you needed to dump your chips on a plate so they could see them at all times. Are exchanges made different ways? Yeah, but I mean, I get it, I understand. So that's the big lesson here. That's the big chip story. Was it a great story? Uh, probably not. Ever since, I think it, they were there for maybe two or three weeks and then no chips anymore. I don't know if they stopped their contract with the chips people. I don't know if something happened where there was some exchange with the bag of chips. I have no idea. All I know is very bizarre. It was very, very bizarre to dump chips onto a plate and then eat them. Weird, when you could just eat them out of the bag, it's just something you're not used to, right? So anyway, let's. that's done. Now let's do the taste test. 
and I will timestamp where the taste test is. But let's start with the original whole shebang. But let's just dive right into the chips. Okay, they just smell like regular potato chips. And they say, the potato chips with incredible flavor that started it all. Super seasoned snacks. Yeah, I'm starving by the way. I only had breakfast and it's now four o'clock. So I'm really hungry. Mmm. Mmm. One of you guys commented the flavor and you nailed it. You said that it was kind of like barbecue and salt and vinegar together. It is literally like a barbecue chip and a salt and vinegar chip had a baby and they made the whole shebang. Every time I talk about shebang chips, I wanna sing the song, she bangs, she bangs, you know? I can't put it in here because of copyright. And good thing I can't hold a tune, even if it was disguised as a Louis Vuitton bag. So I won't get copywritten for singing because you know, I suck, but it's a really good. Mm. By the way, to buy one bag of these on Amazon, I should probably explain why I have 142,000 bags of shebangs right now. That's because to buy one bag, they jack on like $20 worth of shipping. It was the exact same price to buy one bag with shipping than it was to buy 12 bags with shipping. So this cost me way more money than any bag of chips ever should or 12 bags of chips ever should, especially the ones that you can buy in the ghetto. That's where somebody else told me they could get them. I didn't even know you could get these in real life anywhere. I mean, not online, but it was like 30 something dollars. Yeah, but at least I didn't pay for one bag of chips. Now let's try the extreme. So these are chips with a bonus kick of heat. These are what I am looking forward to the most. Mm -mm -mm. Ooh, these are ruffles. Mmm. Mmm, it's like a really spicy barbecue salt and vinegar chip. Oh my God, they're so good. They're a little greasier than the other ones. Oh my God. Mm, let's see which ones I like better. Mmm. I don't know. I like them both a lot. I think I like the texture and the consistency of this chip better. It still has really good flavor. Guys, I'm not going to lie. I think it's a straight up tie. But if I had to choose just one, oh, it's so hard. They're both so good. Now I get it. Now I get it, you guys. You have to do this. You have to, I get it now. I was like, it's a freaking potato chip. Who cares? Why would you want to remember anything from inside? Uh, Cause they taste like this. Do you see me sweating? Not only is it a million degrees in here, I'm also eating spicy chips now. But I think if I had to choose between the two, it would be like the closest call ever. But I think it would be the extreme just cause I'm such a spicy girl. Love, love, love. Okay. That was fun. Do you guys want me to try anything else from inside or on the list? Let me know in the comments below. Do you guys want some shebang chips now that I have a thousand bags? <laughs> I know some people were saying in the comments that they were gonna order some. I'll send them to you. Just let me know if you want them. We'll figure out how to get them to you. Although, I don't know, they taste so good. I might take those words back, I'm not sure. I'll let you know in the comments. Just kidding. I love you guys. If you're interested in watching me take that spicy challenge, watch that video there. If you're interested in seeing where I talked about these and all of the food on a commissary list and how much it costs, click that video there. And also if you're not subscribed already, what are you doing? Click that button there or the red button below. I love you guys and I'll see you in the next one. Mwah.